All right. Nice. Not bad. Not, not a keeper. No, but very close. very close. See, the keeper size is 14 inches. So most of these trout realize they need to be about 13 inches. So they just kind of stay there. Stay there about 13 inches. All right, I'm doing the customary let your visitor catch a couple of fish first before the captain catches. It's just good manners. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at that. I put on a shrimp just like Paul. And now I'm catching fish, fish just like Paul. You too could be like Paul. <laughs> just like Paul. Just send in fifteen dollars to be like Paul. Paul.com. All right, we're gonna do the Louisiana swing. That might be that's now. See, that's the thing. I catch two little ones. When you catch one, you can put it in the line. Do you want right fish? Now I'm not keeping fish, so you're not gonna keep fish today. No, because I got. I mean, it's just me and my wife. I mean, I got like two or three meals from. Yesterday. Is he big enough? Apparently, it was recording that whole time. Oh, oh that's not good. So we got some good. Uh, some good arguments. We got some good video right there now. That's called filler. Filler. Yeah. Yeah. The fish catching is the there. main part. The filler is the other stuff that we say. The important things that we say. You got one? No. Oh. I had a bite the same time you had yours. Again? Again. Look. Look at see. Another one of them 13.26s. This time, he may have, huh? Yeah, regular fish. A real fish, not one of those weird. If you know what that fish is called, please comment below. <laughs> I have a, it's the only fish I don't know. I got a swirl, that's a good fish. Not this one, but the, oh, that's it. You, you want me to net it? <laughs> Whoa, man, that's taking a risk right there. He's hiding from. I was a younger man, I'd already had that fish. He's hiding from. It's gonna be another one of those. 13. 13. Thirteen and a half. I saw the half right when it yep. flew off my hook. What you got, Paul? I got a trout on my root beer float. He was really. That looks like a pretty decent. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Or that's a net. Gave it up. Thank you, sir. Nice. That. Ah, oh, it's gonna be close. All these fish. Rip there, chartreuse tail. One eight gulp. ounce, one out, yeah, one eight ounce jig, and it's a gulp, yeah. Yeah. And it's gulping, they gulp it, man. Yeah. And I had one too. Paul's got one. I just had a bite. On my root beer, chartreuse gulp. Again. Back to back. This is another. Oh, you got it. Hey! Oh! Oh! oh come on! You got him. I think it's one of those little uh -oh. crazy fish. Let's focus more on your fish. Okay. Yeah, this is not not what I want. Hmm. All right, I may have to focus. Yes, sir. This I, is three. I have got to. Got I, I got to put a jig on. You might want to get one of these. It's called. Paul is forcing me. He's forcing me. Gulp. 
and they're golfing right now. Yeah. God. Look at you, man. Look at that. Hmm. Root beer golf. One eighth ounce jig. Paul's out here giving fishing lessons. This is it today. right here. This is Got Paul on again. Location. Definitely Chris has put me on fish every time I go fishing with him. Every time. Standing in the net. <laughs> Not that we won't let your fish. I'm that you. Hey! There he is, another one. That's a long one. Oh. Long and skinny. Nice. Did the old uh, eat lunch routine? Fish love it. You always catch a fish when you're eating. That's a good one, Paul. Nice fish. Nice Pro's tip. Be our new best day. Every day is a Every better day. What we got? What we got? It's a fish. That's not bad. That's that's same size I'm catching. Very close to being a keeper. Thank you, Chris. You are a great <laughs> The reason he's thanking me is because I just put on a mud minnow. And every time I switch over to something that's different from him, he catches a fish. So I'm setting him. I'm setting him up. Exactly. Now that Paul has reeled his fish in, I, it's okay for me to catch one. Yes, sir. That only took you 30 seconds. It did. It took about 30 seconds. He's a pro. Nice, nice looking trout. 
Well, we found our spot now. We're catching. We just caught two right in a row. Paul's got another one. I'm anticipating a bite any second. Oh, I got a uh, black drum. Yeah. What do you know? A baby black drum. Baby black drum. Let's get a little close up of the baby. Hey, okay. Man, we almost had a double. I mean, a double right next to each other. <laughs> I was probably six feet from his. This looks like a, oh, it's a little trout. A little trout. Trying to get a different angle here of the fish being reeled in. Not a big one. Down here. He might be powerful or something. Yeah. Already. Yeah, he killed him. Yeah. That's about the smallest trout I've caught. Chris has put me on fish. I mean, everywhere we go, I catch fish. My prediction is that since I'm having to tie on my leader, oh. that Paul will probably catch six or seven trout <laughs> before. He's caught two so far. I'm predicting six or seven before I get my leader tied. Oh, my goodness. One might go on the boat. Yes, sir. The Louisiana swing. Louisiana swing here in Georgia. Hey, that looks potential. Nice fish. That one's got some potential. Ooh, I need to hurry and get this thing tied on. Before Paul puts it on me. I've got any hooks in here? Sport to you? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's your fish. He hid my scissors so I couldn't cut the line. While I was looking for the scissors, now it's number three. Scissors. Before I start, this I started tying my. Oh, he's a little one. It's all right. Fish. Man, that one jumped out of the water. Really? Aerial display. Paul's hooking them every which way today. He's done had one wrapped around the fin. Paralyzed. Here we go. That's good looking trout. You like that? Something's happening. Something's happening. No, it's a big old black. All right, what's yeah. That is a sheep's head. A sheep head. Got a sheeper. You're an ugly fish. I'm sorry. I need to Got a sheeper. <laughs>